Hello agents, and I've got an interesting one for you today. This is my weird little CQC build. Now CQC means close quarter com combat, which is generally something you would do in and around buildings or up close and personal with the enemy. This doesn't necessarily mean melee as other Ubisoft games would have you believe. Although melee is a bit of a part of it. Now this is all basically around staying up close and personal with the enemy as well as utilizing cover to help buff allies. This is very very much still a work in progress and it's something I typically use when playing with my wife, friend, clan mates etc etc. Don't know why I said friend rather than friends. Makes it sound like I'm a weirdo that only has the one friend and everyone else can go screw themselves. So yeah, this is very much a work in progress, like I said, but it is working pretty damn well. It does need a bit more fine tweaking from myself. And if you guys have any ideas as well, that would be absolutely outstanding. This mainly revolves around using Ferocious Calm for the perfect overwatch which while in cover, I think it's after eight seconds for the perfect overwatch, provides you and your allies with a 12% damage bonus. This isn't the highest amount of damage bonus, but it is pretty damn nice, especially when it's spread around your team, as well as utilizing the Coyote's Mask, which does work wonderfully. I'm also using leadership on the backpack, so then when doing cover to cover, I do provide them with a bit of armor which we can't quite figure out whether it's useful or just pointless at this point because i don't really have a particularly tanky build so having 15 percent armor isn't really a good thing especially from when you are a uh, full red build or you're going for a full red build i'm also using savage wolverines so if i can get that kill up close with the savage wolverine perk with perfectly up close and personal you get a, I believe it's 38% damage buff, which is absolutely huge. Overall, this build is working quite damn well. Like I said, it does still need some fine tuning. And I am thinking about swapping up the backpack for something a bit more useful. I was thinking maybe opportunistic, but it's only like for 1.5 seconds that that buff would be active while using an assault rifle, which is a bit questionable and I can't really think of anything else that would be particularly worth while especially in a close quarter combat side of things overall I am liking this build but if you do have suggestions in constructive criticism I would like to know however like I said I am using a interesting setup for this let's have a quick go over this so at first as you saw I was using Savage Wolverine I've got some decent is stats on it it's not too bad but it is a craftable for my mask i am using coyote's mask as you can see here will need to put a, a uh, damage mod in there which apparently i've completely forgotten to do because i'm an idiot so that would have probably helped me out as well as finding a mask that is completely maxed out this thing is so damn close it kind of really irritates me for my chest like i said i am using ferocious calm for perfect overwatch there is a blue on there which i'm not too happy about but still it could be worse overall i do feel this chest is pretty damn good and pretty damn worth it but obviously there could be better that is something i would like to work on for my holster i do have a very good walker harris which i am utilizing quite well for my backpack i'm using a i'd call them cv i don't know how to pronounce that for hell um, mainly for the extra crit chance for the set. Overall, not really too happy with this backpack. I like the crit chance. The crit damage on it is fine, but it's got two blues, one of which is going to be the mod slot, which I don't particularly mind because being that close, a little bit of armor on kill is going to be quite nice. But still, yeah, leadership is one I'm still working on for my gloves. Pretty much standard contractor's gloves and fox's prayer knees this is working out pretty damn well i am also using a bullet king as a sort of i'm just now gonna spam because there's about 10 things that are close to me and i don't want them there 
So although Wolverine is my main damage dealer, having the ability to just spam load of bullets has become very, very handy. Although this build does work at range, it kind of suffers because you really want to try and keep your Savage Wolverine of up close and personal up pretty damn much because that 32% buff is just so much to ignore. It really does work. And so far, my allies have always said that they quite enjoy me utilizing this build as it really does sort of help them out as well. And there have been times where I've done a cover to cover, giving them the leadership bonus armor perk just at a point on when they were struggling or getting a bit overwhelmed but they do kind of wish it was either kind of nothing or a lot more so it might be something i have to uh, look into but overall this build has worked quite well and it's definitely very fun to use especially when you start dashing around the areas in cover to cover just to try and one get close keep your overwatch buff active as well as provide a little bit of bonus armor to your allies anyway guys let me know what you think of this build i've certainly enjoyed using it as well as showing you guys this um and again if you do have any suggestions on what i could potentially replace just to give this build a little bit more of an extra oomph then i am all ears in the meantime though have fun good luck and don't die it's bad for the health